You may have heard about the infamous Miller-Urey experiment back in 1953, in which electricity was added to certain gases under specialized conditions. This was intended to show how life could spontaneously arise without God. Right. But the experiment actually showed that it took a great deal of intelligence to set up conditions that produce mostly a lot of tar and just a few amino acids. Yeah. This is a long way from a living cell. Yeah, here are some of the problems with that experiment. First, there were starting assumptions about what gases would have been present on the primordial Earth, and these didn't include oxygen, which tends to destroy chemical bonds, preventing anything from forming. Now, since then, evidence indicates that oxygen likely was present at the time. Oops. So because it didn't accurately simulate the Earth's atmosphere, it's, it's pretty much irrelevant as an experiment, and those amino acids could not have formed. Not only that, many molecules required for life exist in two forms that look like mirror images of each other, like your left and right hands. This is called chirality, from the Greek word for hand. The Miller-Urey experiment produced equal amounts of left and right-handed forms of amino acids. Yeah, but all amino acids and proteins are left-handed, while all sugars in DNA and RNA and in metabolic pathways are right-handed. Random chemical reactions won't produce 100% left-handed right. amino acids that are needed for life. This is just one example of thousands where evolutionists have major problems explaining how life originated. Yeah. But evolution continues to be promoted as established scientific fact. It's not. No. No.